Hey guys, I've had a lot of requests for 60 seconds and I wanted to play it. I'm still sick. What the heck? I thought I was feeling better and then it just came back. I slept in today and that, that made it worse, I think. Oh, the pizza on the roof. Yes. <laughs> Breaking bad. Um, well, new game. It's my first time playing. I don't know completely what to expect. I think there's something about going into a bomb shelter. I could be totally wrong. There was an alien ship there. Alright. Oh, new game. Alright, we have Atomic Drill, Apocalypse, Scavenge, Survival. Mm, I like Survival. But I'm a little angry with Survival. Just the Walking Dead ending last season. Ugh. I'm not... No spoilers, but it was like the most gut-wrenching, horrible moment in the comics in which I must have cried so hard and then they just took it away from the show and I was like, how could you do that? <laughs> and left on a ginormous cliffhanger. Uh, so I don't want to go. I'm gonna tell me. Wait! Apocalypse! Oh, uh, little boy, fat man, star bomb. Oh my god, isn't a star, star bomb worse than fat man? Why is that one red? Oh, because it's normal. Yeah, look, here we go. Easy, normal heart. See, I noticed, guys. <laughs> you know, you guys are so angry the last uh, dating sim video, which I have a lot of those to catch up on. I know, I just can't do the voices. I think they've been making, making me worse, even though I love playing them. Let's just normal this out of Fat Man. All right, we'll do that. Oh, God. Soup. What I was going to say was... In that last dating sim, how I read fashion as whatever the fitness or something. It's just, I only read it once and thought I read it right, and then I just looked at the numbers, and that's why I kept doing it wrong. You guys are very angry. All right, how do I grab things? We gotta go. Shit, wife, what have you been doing? I'm pretty sure it's the 50s or 60s. You should be a stay-at-home mom. Why didn't we stay in the kitchen? They had it so easy. I have to go out and work now. Fine. <laughs> Just kidding. It's kind of fun working. All right. Can I turn? Oh, I can turn. That's my mouse. Um, no, I'd rather have the gun, but do I have ammunition for this? Because if I don't, then, um... Uh, ooh, or water. No, wait, no room. Oh, God, do I have to, uh... All right, hold on. Wait, wait. I swear, I saw one preview of this game, and they grabbed the wife. You get in here right now, lady. Throw them in. Throw them in. Um, uh, what's this? Oh, checkers? Yeah, okay. Why not? Oh, fuck, that's all I get? I forgot the sun. And we'll make a new one. No biggie. It's like The Sims, you know? Sometimes you kill off one of the ugly kids. Let's just say he was an ugly kid. For all in <laughs> for all injuries ranging from paper cuts to decapitations. You ever have a baby on The Sims and then it grows up to toddler or in Sims 4 case, child. And for some reason its face is completely messed up but you had nice looking parents and you're just like, <gasps> I don't want to be mean but you're going in the pool with no ladders, honey. I sound evil. I'm sorry. I'm sick. I am a little more evil than usual. Day one. At least the two are, are the tourists. The two of us made it. If we only had a smaller house and less slippery floors. We vaguely remember stashing some things in the shelter because there was no room for them upstairs. Turns out being messy can really work in your favor. Okay. Hey, I get it. 60 seconds. We had 60 seconds. All right, plus one radio. We don't have that much food. I <laughs> No one's complaining yet, but even canned soup might become an extravagant dish quite soon. Oh god, we're so dead. We Did I really need the gun? Hey Mary Jane, my name's Ted. We're married. <sighs> two cans of soup, two waters. Well, we'll last a day. Wanna play checkers though? I got that! That was a great decision. Oh my god. Alright, wait, what's this do? There's just barely enough water for everyone. We will have to ration it strictly. There wasn't even enough time to grab everything, but we have something to get started with. Hope it's enough. Time to ration. Who was that? Did I have a second wife? Oh wait. 
Oh, is this our daughter? Awkward. Sorry, I was calling you wifey. It's a little weird. Yeah, that's the mom, because it looks like the baby. Whoopsies. Alright, yeah, I mean... Never mind about making a new kid. That would be very weird. That would be... That would be very weird. It'd be an interesting novel, though, that just makes you cringe the whole time. It's hard being down here, living here. We need to make the best of it, or else we might find ourselves in even more trouble. Alright. Well, day two. Oh, God. Day two. It's hard not to worry, considering our current situation. Some days we're still struggling to deal with the shelter life, but we can't lose hope. It's impression how well Mary Jane is handling... It's impressive how well Mary Jane is handling this situation. She looks fine today. Oh, God, it's happening. No, just kidding. Ted said there's no need to worry about him. He's okay. All right, time to ration supplies. Yeah, yeah. Ted is too happy to risk his life in the wastes. Mary Jane is feeling excellent. Should we start preparing an expedition for tomorrow? The contamination of our town is still strong. Scavenging in these conditions could result in radiation sickness. I most definitely assume it would. What's that sound? A galloping horse? We rushed to the door and were greeted by two men dressed like they'd come from a medieval fair. We identified the source of the sound. One of them was holding two rocks and hitting them against each other constantly, while the other was skipping and pretending to be a rider. They said they're looking for some antique cup, but they've got lost and they would, uh, mo they would be most grateful if we let them check our map, provided we have one. Nah, we don't have one. Shoot them for food. Day three. <laughs> oh, God. Day three, we couldn't contain our laughter and our guests took offense. Oh, we did have them in. They ran off shouting that our ancestors were rodents and smelled like forest roots. How rude. Getting something to drink for Mary Jane sounds like the right idea. All Ted wishes for are a few drops of water. Right. We still have supplies. Um, are we doing... Do I need to do that? Thirsty. Yeah, I think we do. Alright, well, you need to have that. Alright, so if we do go outside, having a rifle will be good. Yeah, they're both thirsty. I want to make sure... Crap, there's no options for uh, control, so I know what I'm doing. Because I'm not 100% sure we're even eating or drinking, and that's pretty important. And then, uh, whatever. Let's just see. Wait, ration supplies. Oh, okay. Good. All right, there. Each get some. The contamination of our town is still strong. Scavenging in these conditions could result in radiation system. Wasteland is no match for Mary Jane. That seems to be really good shape for a trip. Should we start preparing an expedition for tomorrow? Absolutely. Now that I know to click. We good. It's not the best time or place to make plans for the future, but we can not help thinking about what can we make of this terrible situation. Is our house still standing, or will we have to move to some forsaken hole like Toronto? <gasps> I was in Toronto maybe two years ago for like a YouTube event, and there was so much construction and like new houses being built. Isn't it like getting a big influx? It was fun. it was a decent town. I liked it. Mm, that suit. Hmm. How did things go? Our relocation is probably something we'll be able to discuss after we get out of here. It's impressive how well managed it is. Eh, that's no need to worry about him. He's okay. All right. Yeah. How are you guys doing? They're doing okay. So. We've been preparing for this expedition since yesterday and feel ready to go right now. Who should be the lucky one to venture into the unknown? Bye, Mary Jane. Good luck. No, don't send Mary Jane. That's not cool. What to take outside? Yup. Yup. Need a rifle. I hope I get to go outside. Oh, we just wait. Okay. Mary Jane, wait. Hold on. How are you doing? She's good. I mean, she's got some stores that'll be useful you know what I'm saying Mary Jane is feeling safe who went in this coffin sized shelter Ted left for the surface Ho will we hope he'll be back soon oh god keep 
This flies. How about that lake we've been going to for the past few years? It would be so good to find ourselves there, far away from all this madness. Swim a little, maybe take a boat ride, even if the whole place turned into Adamville. Hmm. I don't know if that's a good idea. I'll wait on that. I just need to know Ted's okay. Day six. I like this so far, it's fun. Do we have to take care of ourselves or will someone come to our res rescue? Mary Jane is very thirsty and has to drink something. All right, no problem. There you go, shouldn't need to eat. We heard something about supply drops on the radio. This just might be what we need to survive and it's supposed to happen near our house. Shall we go out and find out if it's really happening? I don't think I can. Well, I hope Ted's paying attention and is able to get there. Day seven, if he's even still alive. I don't even know if he's still alive. Oh God, it was too dangerous to go out there without any protection. So we decided to stay indoors and listen to the radio. The static is so relaxing. Mary Jane's fine, good. We don't need to do anything. We're not alone. There's a huge hairy bunny beast that seems to be hiding in one of the pipes. It's been poking its head out, eyeing our measly food stash. We can't let it get to it. We can't let it be hid here when we sleep. I have these cute bunnies that live in my backyard every year. I've just started seeing them again since the snows, you know, it's gotten warmer. They're not completely warm yet, but they're so cute. They're always hopping along. Oh, it's nice. And they have babies. And though they don't have the babies yet this year that I can tell, but they usually do. Oh, hey, Ted, are you okay? Hungry, sick, tired, bah. That's not good. How's Mary Jane? How are you? Oh, she's good. That's good. That beast of a rodent one. It wow, you know, I like how it's like, I can't do a dating sim today. That would be a lot of weird voices and, and reading. And then like my nose is starting to get stuffed again. I didn't expect to be reading a ton. You guys, what are you doing to me? I like reading when I do it good. Not when I do it bad. <laughs> it won and stole our food. Can or no can. At least we have each other, right? We're just worried it'll come back to finish what it started. That motherfucker took my soup. Mm. I hope it comes back it finished to finish what it started, because I'm going to fucking kill it. We'll eat it. You take our soup, we take you. Ted has safely returned from his voyage to the surface. We were hoping this expedition would be successful. Too bad that was not the case. You didn't get shit. You were gone for like two days. What were you doing? So much for our rifle. It got damaged during our expedition. How the hell? Ted! Ted! Mary Jane didn't cause any trouble today. No trouble dared to cross her path. That stomach's rumbling. Ted became infected with something. Ted is really tired. Ted, what happened up there? Ted? Oh, wait. Do we, have, we don't have medicine. Sorry, buddy. We might lose you. We had thought phone calls were a thing of the past after the atomic bomb obliterated everything in our little town. However, a phone booth on our street survived the bombing somehow. It seems it's ringing right now. We should tell uh, send someone to answer it. Mm, fine, Mary Jane. <laughs> I'm willing to do anything at this point. Did I oh my god, I just saw the gun. What the- how did you manage that, Ted? How does that happen, Ted? Huh? What are you doing? What did you do? When we answered the phone, we could clearly hear a gasp of relief from the caller. They introduced themselves as survivors from a nearby town of Hill Valley. We had started exchanging information when the call was cut short. Something must have gone wrong on their side. We hope they will get back to us. So nothing makes us made us happier than the sight of Mary Jane returning to the shelter from the surface. Mary Jane says she's fine and doesn't need anything. Ted's stomach is rumbling. Alright, Ted. It's the last of the soup, bruh. Good use of it. It looks like the area is still irradiated. Going to the wasteland right now is unsafe unless you don't mind getting sick. Alright. more Mary Jane's more than ready to go and scavenge. Alright, yeah. We could keep getting in our backside, uh, keep going, uh, sitting on our backsides here in this tiny little bunker. Or we can start thinking about getting away as far as possible from this radioactive wasteland. Who would have thought the Reds would ruin such a lovely neighborhood? We could do it on our own. The escaping part, not the ruining part, of course. However, there might be someone out there who has uh, who can help us. Let's keep our eyes and ears open, yes. Should have been doing that. 
Day 10. Yeah, Ted looks bad. We made contact. The military is out there and they're coming for us. All we need to do now is wait patiently. The soldier with the boring voice was very specific about this. Help is on the way. We need to wait for further instructions and keep our radio in working order. Is it a trick? Mary Jane is quite hungry. That <laughs> stomach is rumbling. Sorry, guys. I got water, though. We don't have soup. The rabbit took it. We should have killed it. All right, we've been praying for this expedition since yesterday and feel ready. All right, go. Oh, did I, is it because I didn't take this? Oh, you just... You don't need anything. You need your hands. Let's grab shit. Find shit, grab it. Day 11. Mary Jane, went, Mary Jane went outside. Let's hope Sherry's back soon. Where is water when Ted needs it? Oh, right here. It's been a while. We don't know much about what's happening on the surface. If only we had a chance to tune in. Should be. I wish they auto listened to the radio. It should just be on. Alright, day 12. We were able to get a weak signal and tap into government's emergency announcement service. And guess what? Great news. The fallout outside is mostly gone. It should be much safer to travel on the surface now. Ted is hungry. I know you're hungry, Ted. I know you're sick. I'm sick too. You don't see me bitching. Our patience is wearing thin. We thought it would be a good idea. A good idea. Yes, a good idea. To take a quick look outside to see if there's any trouble in the area. As we were about to step out, a pair of animal eyes flashed in the darkness, and their owner started growling in a most terrifying way. We only had moments to decide what to do. Oh, I don't have my gun anymore, Ted! Day 13. We felt it was too risky to face whatever horror awaited in the shadows. We did what any sane person would do. We shut the door. The creature was gone the next morning. Ted is hungry. I feel you could still somehow use this gun as a weapon. Like, just bap someone on the head with it. I mean, it's still pretty fucked, but... This part's... You could bap someone with it. Nope. Alright. Nope. For an isolated fallout shelter, we sure have a lot of disturbances. Something's been making a lot of noise since dawn, and we couldn't sleep. It seems to be coming from under the floor, and coincidentally... We just found a manhole that we could use to go down and check what's going on. Did we, like, just get this fallout shelter? Because you know what? If I built a fallout shelter, guess what I would do? I would have all the supplies already in the fallout shelter so I didn't need to grab them in the 60 seconds I have before the bombs go off. I would have my shit organized. Man, people need better organizational skills. Come on. Where's Mary Jane? Is she dead? Day 14. <sighs> Going into a tight, dark tunnel is not a good idea, especially with those weird noises coming from it. They're giving us the creeps, even up here. Ted's stomach is rumbling. I'll Ted with for a few drops of water. That's fine. We can do that. Open in the name of freedom, came a shout from outside our door. We weren't sure who claimed to be representing freedom, but we could hear it was a group of people, probably armed. Anyone who introduces themselves like that is probably planning to kill someone in the name of freedom? Should we open? YOLO. I'm desperate right now. I'm gonna die anyways. <laughs> Day 15. Oh, she's back. Oh god. The phone. I gotta go. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Alright. I was doing some consulting work over the week and I really need to answer that all right um where are we Mary Jane she looks like shit I think she's sick too opening the door reveal a group of armed teenagers possibly high school students contrary to what we expected they were very friendly and requested to know if we've seen any reds nearby Reds. we couldn't help them when they found out we were not armed they were kind enough to spare us a rifle don't you fuck this up for us Ted I swear to God found them a new rifle we asked who they were. All they said was Wolverines. Nothing made us happier than the sight of Mary Jane returning to the shelter from the surface. The proud Ellison Hotel was completely destroyed. Piles and piles of luggage were lying between heaps of rubble. Only a few rooms or lower levels partially survived. 
Now we know the secret of their restaurant chef. It's tomato soup, yes! Mary Jane, you came through. You didn't even fuck up a gun. You didn't even need one. No wonder they were a five-star hotel. One of the luggage bags was filled with a wide array of different flashlight models. Excitedly, we, excited, we tried them all. If only one in any working condition. Mary Jane! Let's get a hand for Mary Jane. She made this go down. Yes! Got a flashlight looking axe! The lobby was mostly destroyed and barely anything could be found on the floor except for one very hairy and very dead lumberjack. He had an axe in his hand. Contracted an illness, really tired, Ted is hungry. Mary Jane, you have some food, girl. You have some food. Wait, what was he? He was hungry, I think. Yeah. Alright. The state of the wasteland remains unknown to us. Maybe we could risk it and go out. You know what? Let's not do that just yet. Give Mary Jane. You maniacs, you blew it up. Ah, damn you. Damn you all the hell. There's something we should have told our neighbors when they blew up their BBQ last spring. Those were good times, even if they waste a perfectly good BBQ. Barbecue. Okay. Day 16. Fond memories are one thing, but we need to be ready for harsh reality that awaits us. Mary Jane is quite hungry. Oh, you guys are hungry again? We just got some soup. There goes the soup. We're not certain about the situation on the surface. The trip could be risky, but we really should use the supplies. You know, none of us can go out. What is that? It seems like a distant rumble, but it's getting louder. And why is everything shaking? Oh god, it's a quake. Grab something and hold on. Grab something. I... Grab the radio. I don't know. Grab it. Radio will save you. Day 17. Oh god. Look at this beard. Where's Mary Jane's beard? No. Wouldn't it be funny if she just slowly, very much slower than Ted, just slowly started developing one? Wait. Where are her hairy legs? Those would be getting hairy. Earthquake or not, nothing is going to stand between us and our daily dose of radio static. Ah, uh, we did lose the flashlight. We were able to grab it before it could fall down and get smashed. I figure it was a better option just because we can get, you know, information. Something else might be broken, but we don't know until we clean this place up. Mary Jane's diet could use a little food. Can we spare some water? Mary Jane's been asking about it all day. All right, they're both thirsty. There you guys go. Seems awfully quiet outside. Maybe it's safe. Maybe it's not. We won't know until we go out. So can one of us go out? Oh shit, I didn't read that. I accidentally double clicked. Do you ever have like a little twitch in you? Oh, Jesus fucking Christ, the radiation's got to Mary Jane, for fuck's sake. Oh my god, kill it. Kill it with fire. I don't know if I can even eat it. Now she has hairy legs, Lisa. <laughs> what happens when you get hairy legs? See, I complained about her not having hairy legs. <laughs> and here she is. Hairy legs, hairy back. Oh my god, he's just fucking done. He is so done at this point. We can decide we could get rid of those spiders with our bare hands, feet, and whatever other body parts we could use for lethal anti-spider attacks. Unfortunately, we've underestimated their chances. They're real fast. All we achieved was getting tired. Maybe we'll be, we'll have more luck next time. During our vicious fight with dozens of spiders, one got lucky and bit Mary Jane. It didn't seem serious, but we, when we got up this morning, she was different. Yeah, a little bit. Mary Jane didn't cause any trouble today. No trouble dared to cross her. Yeah, no, I wouldn't cross her path either. I sh certainly would not. We've been preparing for this expedition. Uh, send Mary Jane. No one's gonna fuck with her. Dude, dude, dude. Put an axe on it with her too. She'll fuck shit up. Oh my god, I'd be terrified for my life. Unless everyone on the surface looks like that. Day 19. Mary Jane went outside. Let's hope she hurries back soon. There's nothing going on with Ted. Nothing new anyway. Yeah. Uh. Shine your boots and hoist the flag. The army is on the radio again. They're telling us to get our flashlight ready to signal their aircraft. Fuck! They'll be flying over our area later this evening. If they see our light, they'll know where to look for us. Assholes. What about people without flashlights? What about people who don't have batteries for the flashlights? What about people who've had their flashlights cracked? How dare you discriminate? Do we have a mirror? Signal has to wait. Besides, do they even know how much flashlight batteries cost, right? Especially in this economy. Especially after it was wiped out. 
Ted should drink something soon. Yeah, we can't. He might die. If there's one sure way to get our attention, it's definitely banging on our shelter door. Whoever it is, they're quite persistent. They've been out of time, I guess. It worked out last time. It's probably not gonna work out this time. Oh god, day 21. Alright, we're still here. We opened the hatch, but there was nobody there. Damn pranksters making jokes even after the apocalypse. Ted looks like he's got one foot in the grave. He needs to get a drink right now. Uh, yeah. The bandit camp nearby is causing a lot of trouble. Not only are they armed, dangerous, cruel, and bloodthirsty, they're also loud, obnoxious. We respect their right to party, but not at the cost of our beauty sleep. Something needs to be done. Oh, it's such a bad idea. Ha. That's why we're gonna do it. The end. Oh, yeah, that... Hey, that's not the end. What about we still got Mary Jane? She's like, hey, Dad! You're looking thinner. Did you go on a diet? Bandits be gone. We caught them off guard. Some of them were asleep or half-dressed and yawning. They realized at once how dangerous an angry American citizen can be. They immediately fled. We do. Oh, we did beat them. We didn't die by bandit. I think he just died out of starvation. Nothing made us happier than the sight of Mary Jane. <sighs> I don't know about that. Returning to the shelter from the surface. When we reached our local police station, we were surprised to find it staffed by police officers. That's an admirable call of duty right there. We couldn't say we knew any of them, but they have uniforms and badges, so surely they are the law in this part of the wasteland. It seems like they started writing it down for everyone to see. The exterior station walls are covered with some inspiring signs like New Order, The World is Ours. An ammunition, an ammunition pack was lying just outside the station. There was a map laid out in the hood of one of the burned down police cars. The clumsy sign on it read, The Plan to Take Over the World. Sweet map. Turned from the expedition, but our axe didn't make it. How did, Mary Jane, how do you lose the axe? Ted has been sick for far too long. He was too weak to keep on going. He passed away in his sleep. Of all places, we could have... Paris is probably the best one, or maybe not. We all out for 22 days. Wait, is that the end? Do you just, the end is... Oh, that sucks. I feel like we still had Mary Jane to carry on. Aw, the... oh, man. I wanted to go on with Monster Mary Jane. That was fun. Gas mess. The loading screens are really cute. That was cool. I'll have to play more. Thanks for recommending it to me, you guys. I hope you guys have a wonderful night, and goodbye.